Good morning, Sharon. Hi. Welcome to Eagle News. Today is Friday, September 24th. Here's what's coming up on the school calendar. Interested in cybersecurity? The Cybersecurity Club meets Friday after school in room 114. In the Cybersecurity Club, you'll learn essential IT skills for Windows, Linux, and networking, regarding of your current skill level. See Mr. Shuresh for more information. Interested in finding out what other clubs are out there? The SHS Club Fair is after school on Thursday, September 30th. Freshmen and sophomores will be dismissed from their last period classes early to see what club opportunities that await them at SHS. Student club leaders will also be dismissed early to set up their booths. Seniors, remember to submit your senior pictures in JPEG form to the Mars and Gold Yearbook staff at SHS Yearbook at SharonSchools.net by next Friday, October 1st. And now in sports. The football team fell to Seekonk last week, losing 28-0. to zero. They traveled to Dover, Sherbourne tonight looking for their first vi victory of the season. Boys soccer lost to Oliver Ames 6-1. They also played King Philip on Wednesday and they lost 3-2. The next game is this afternoon when they host Foxborough. Girls soccer started the week with a loss to Oliver Ames. They traveled to King Philip on Wednesday and lost 5-1. They traveled to Foxborough this afternoon. Field hockey lost to Oliver Ames on Tuesday, 6 to nothing. Their next game is Monday at Foxborough. Volleyball lost in three sets to Oliver Ames on Monday. Their next game is on Monday in Foxborough. Boys and girls cross country remain unbeaten after winning their races against Canton Monday. Nathan Trout led the boys while Daphne Tyler won for the girls. Both squads look to stay perfect Monday when they travel to Foxborough. The golf team rebounded from their loss to North Attleboro Monday with a win over Stoughton on Tuesday. They played Wednesday and won 173-196 to against Tyne. Their next match is Wednesday against Milford. Last weekend, the sailing team took 8th place in the Arnold Brown Regatta at the Vineyard, while Lila Grew and Venya Gupta took 1st place in their race. And congratulations to Sophia Goklowski of the girls' soccer team who is named the Hockamock Sports Player of the Week for her three goal and four assist week. We now go to Danny Kramer with what to look for this season from the football team. Obviously, um, you know, we're two games in. Started out the season 0-2, but I think people still have or should have some hope uh, for the football season, uh, especially because you guys are in an independent league now as opposed to the Hawk. Um, what does that mean for you and for the rest of the football team? Um, I just think that being independent as opposed to being in the Hawk Mock League uh, like we normally are and like we are for other sports really gives us an opportunity to compete against teams that are more our level as the last few years have been rough uh, going against bigger schools. What do you think some things are that you know might be able to contribute to putting some wins in the win column? Um, at least the, nor the first game, week one, um, we were just a little outmatched. I just don't think a lot of the the youth, we have a very young team. I just don't think a lot of the youth was ready for uh, varsity football, like uh, what our coach talks about, a varsity effort, everyone coming together, all 11 players on the field and put, putting forth the best of their effort. But now I think that since we got that, we improved a lot to week two on the defensive side of the ball. And now I just think that with that, in the upcoming weeks, off the offense should get going. Uh, yeah, I think that, um, well, as well as uh, me, Jack, and Nate, it's also Ugo Agmanazzi and uh, Finn Linus. And I just think that us five, we have a great, like, we have a great dynamic in that we cover essentially every position on the field. So everywhere we go, every group that we split into, there's leadership there. When we feel the energy from the sideline, or uh, from the, the stands, it, it just it makes us want to play more because we know what we're playing for. We understand that if we win, if we make a good play, there are people in the stands cheering for us, and they know that we put out our full effort. And I just think it's really it, – it really lifts our spirits to see everyone packing the nest. That is something we didn't get a chance to see last year in any sport. So I think that it's a really important part of the football culture. And – um even though we don't have any home games and most of the games are far away, It'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thanks Ryan. Um, again, this has been Ryan Baker, one of the senior captains of the football team. 
uh, from Eagle News. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. That's it for Eagle News this week. See you next Friday, Shanghai.